This girl is on fire! Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class, Green Light, and Dazzle Strike. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So in the background, as always, we have some assemblage going on there. Siege, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Transformers. On the side of the box, we have the usual lovely Siege artwork on the other side we have a green light and we have a dazzle strike on the top autobot symbol transforming for cybertron on the bottom words things barcodes on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots this that the other things and stuff stuff and things warning don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you and i just noticed that they have dazzle strikes name spelled two different ways here they have it spelled with two z's and here they have it spelled with one z uh, 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 somebody's going to get in trouble! And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have Green Light and Dazzle Strike. So first we will take a look at Green Light herself, and we recognize this mold. We've seen it quite a few times, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some nice silver paint up front here. Got a nice transclearance. Green plastic going on. And her paint scheme is primarily white and green. Big Autobot symbol right there. And you got the big old wheels there. And you have her hands just hanging out the back. And before anybody says, you forgot to flip the hands up, the hands don't flip up. This, the new forearms, these are new forearms on her. And these are one solid piece. So the hands do not flip up like they do on previous versions of the mold. They just stay down like that. So. It is what it is! She knows roll! As rolling things should, and spin as spinning things should. So there you have that. And let's just bring in her mates here. So we can take a look at all of them. And granted, Chromia is not part of the combiner, but she is still a mold mate, even though she's a heavy remold, but still a mold mate nonetheless. So there you have. The ladies. So now let's talk about her accessory. She does include the prime armor here. Just in that green and white with this kind of a, like a beigey kind of color going on there. And you had a little transparent piece you can pull out. You can plug a headmaster, a titan master, a whatever master, prime master, master master. Plug a master in there. <laughs> master of puppets. Plug whatever kind of master you want to in there. And of course you can plug this into the back of the vehicle mode like so. And have that going on. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Hey, it's storage. Um, one cool thing about this figure though. Even though this is not intentional, you can still use the effects parts. My favorite effect parts. The one that comes with Jetfire. And you can plug this right up front here, and she could be all like, Bloosh! You can have that going on. You can plug it back here, and it can be rocket car, Bloosh! You can have all of that going on. So, hey, fun times to be had. Fun times to be had with the blooshing. But that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> get back here, girl. So, um, as usual, we will go through the combined modes and then go into robot mode. So, first thing we'll do is we will go into leg mode. So to do that, we're gonna just bring this section down. We want to bend the legs at the bottom hinge here. Just bring that all the way up, like so. And these sections will just tab into the back of her thighs, like so. Bring this section out, flip out the port right there. And then you take your arms, you undo this section here and tab it back in at this angle, like so, the arm set like that, and just untab, bring that arm forward so that panel can tab in at the angle, like so, and you flip out the combiner peg, and get everything straightened out there, and there you have the leg mode, hooray for leg mode. Woo! So moving on to arm mode. Just flip this back in, we straighten out 
the legs, rotates at the waist there to form an elbow. Bring that down. You stay tabbed in because it's normal. You do it. You do it. Thank you. There you go. And then we bring in the prime armor. We flip out the fingers. Do whatever you want with the thumbs. And plug that in. And there is the arm mode. Hooray for arms. Yay. Woo. High five. All right. So moving on to robot mode. We're just going to rotate this whole section back around like so. Open up these panels, flip this section forward so we can flip out her head. Bring that back. We can now rotate the section 180. Take this section here, bring it up, and we'll flip this back in first. And then bring this up, and this will just tab in right back there. Bring these panels back, and we rotate her at the waist. Split the legs, bring down her feet. Bring down her arms. And there you go. There you have green light in her robot mode. And green light is oh so green. Yes, she is so green. <laughs> That's getting close here. So we can take a look at that head sculpt. I think that's a pretty nicely done head sculpt. Nice blue there for the eyes. Got white there for little ears, horns, whatever. A little bit, a little bit of coloration there on the lips. And white there on the chest. Big Autobot symbol right there. And of course, a lot of what we've already seen. And the usual issues that I have with the mold. You know, I wish these panels kind of rotated to the back. But, you know, hey. It is what it is. And, of course, she has the big old, big old backpack. And, of course, you know, if you want to, you can leave the section kind of hanging down like that. If you want to, some people do that. Hey, as always, your toy displayed however you wish officially. It should be up. But, again, hey, your toy, do what you want with it. There you go. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You do get some wiggly waggly. She can look up a little bit. She can look down. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out. The elbows are on a ball joint. So you have your rotation there. And you have slightly over 90 degrees of a bend. Uh, nothing at the wrist. You do have a waist rotation. Legs. And go forward, that far, back, that far, outward. She can almost do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have a double jointed knee. So you have a nice full range of movement there if you need it. And the feet, they can move up and they can move down. And you have a little bit of ankle tiltage. And of course, if you want, you can give her the prime armor. Just slip the fingers in. Just flip this down. And we can attach this to our chest. You got little slots here on either side. And you just tab in the thumbs right there. And it looks totally ridiculous. But hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. But, of course, you can have her holding it in her hand like so. Again, looks ridiculous. But again, yeah, hey, you can do it if you want. This is actually quite snug. Get in there. Get. Get. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. There you go. Jeez. And, of course, you can remove this bit right here, and she can hold that as a little pistol. She can pew-pew-bang-bang, pew-pew-bang-bang. So you can do all kinds of that if you want. But well, we'll just take this. <laughs> release, release the green light. <laughs> She's putting on the red light. And she's saying, stop in the name of love. Anyway, so let's bring in her new little partner here. Here we have a Dazzle Strike. And Dazzle Strike here is just a slight recolor of Lionizer. And here's Dazzle Strike with Lionizer. You can see the only difference is just coloration, which there wasn't much to begin with. <laughs> but they changed it up. And the differences, as you can see, are very... Minor blue eyes as opposed to red eyes. Uh, no Autobot symbol there on the forehead. They actually did paint the uh, like eyebrows white there. And you have green 
on the little blade slash cannon bit. And no paint on the body, which still would have been nice to do, but hey, again, it is what it is. And articulation-wise, the tail can move if you need it to move. The head can move downward. Legs are on a ball joint, so you do have some outward movement. Can rotate. Hind legs also on a ball joint. You move outward and can rotate if you need them to. You can also remove this little section here, and that is a, a, a three millimeter port, a three millimeter post rather. And you can plug this into any of your smaller robot's hands, so they can hold that as a handheld weapon if you wish. So yeah, you got little Dazzle Strike there, and of course Dazzle Strike can turn into a weapon, so woo! You have to do the spin before you transform it. You just have to. So we just bring the blade down, flip the head around to reveal the handle. And then you just bring the hind legs up, bring the other legs around, and that will just tab in right into the hip like that. Second vest, same as the first. Just rotate all this around. Tab it in. And there you have Gazzle Strike in sword mode. So you can have that going on, and Dazzle Strike does come with a new effects part. So you get fire! I have made fire! Yay! That's pretty cool. Done. A nice rubbery transclearance orange. And you can just plug that right here on the blade, and now you have a flaming blazing sword! And that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to plug that in her hand. There you go. Now she is just all kinds of dangerous, all kinds of dangerous, but there you have that. And now for comparison, we'll just bring in all the ladies here. Hopefully they'll want to stand for me. Put that down there so we can not, so we're not covering everybody up. Here we go. Bring her in. Bring her in. Whoop. Move over. Move over. Everybody getting a shot. We're gonna take a selfie. And a little one. And there you have the ladies. So, there you go. So there you have Green Light and Dazzle Strike. Um, if you like this mold, Here's another one. <laughs> That's pretty much all I can say. I mean, it is cool that we are getting the G1 Fembots, though, so I am happy about that. I'm happy to have these ladies on my shelf. There are things about this mold that I would change, but all in all, it is still a solid figure, so... There you go. Now, this is an Amazon Prime exclusive, so you're going to have to go to Amazon if you want to pick this up. And, of course, for your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers, the Siege, the Deluxe Class, Green Light, and Dazzle Strike. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Pull in your face. Ah, uh, Iron Hide. You finally took a break from getting shot. Good for you. Whoa, her, her sword's on fire. Why is her sword on fire? No, uh, we're just trying something out. No! Whoa! Pram's butt! Yes, being a purple dinosaur was a good idea! Galactic man is stupid! Gonna tell me to does! Will you really have to stop meeting like this? You don't happen to have some kind of ointment, do you? <laughs>